Hey Robert, could you um, tell us what the card said that you drew? Adult dash team, I'm going to fail you if you keep speaking to your friend in Spanish. You are in America and need to speak English only in my class. All right. So if you heard that, well, first of all, what do you feel when you hear that? Knowing that an adult said that to a student, what, what, what is your first feeling when you hear that? How do I you, feel about it? I don't, I, I'm uncomfortable with that. Mm -hmm. I don't like that type of judgment being made. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable. So if you, if you heard that, if you heard a teacher say that um, to a student, you know, maybe you're picking up your grandchild and you hear someone say that to someone you don't know, would you say anything or? No. No, I'm not uh, usually, I don't attempt to change things. Hmm. It's a weakness. I'm passing. Okay. Did, what if someone said that to your grandchild? What would you do? I'd probably lose my temper and say something. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be particularly helpful, but I might be reasonable. I have been known to be reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so relationship... I would, I would have difficulty. I mean, I, I respond to uh, slights from my family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's an important thing. And one of, you know, one of the things we we're trying to get to is when you're in a relationship with someone, things that you might let go with strangers who you don't have a connection to, you don't let go when it's personal, right? So my question is, how do we begin to build those kinds of relationships with our kids, you know, as, as educators? Um, that when we hear them, we, we feel that each kid is almost like our kid, you know what I mean? So that we feel the responsibility to speak up, even though, you know, typically we would be non-confrontational or, um, or more passive, you know? How, how do we get to that point where it matters so much to us that we speak up to become advocates? Well, I think there has to be some kind of confidence that the uh, the natural order or the ethical uh, unfolding is is valuable. You know, is worth is worthwhile. Mm -hmm. um, and then having that as a value instead of profit. Mm -hmm. you know, America is about profit. And we're not so much about ethics. Yeah, or people. Sometimes it feels that way, you know? It is that way. <laughs> it's that way in politics, and it's that way in business. Yeah. It's an economic uh, platform that's been built on somebody always being less than, you know. Um, yeah, and, and if the Norwegians got here first, you know, then the, like the Czechs in, in uh, North Dakota, they were they were less than, you know. They were the immigrants, immigrants, you know. They were. Bohunks. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's somebody has to be looked down upon, and uh, so with, given that platform, it's pretty hard to come out with an ethical perception of people. You know? Yeah. Whether they speak differently or look differently, whatever that is. Uh, well, yeah, because there's always a comparison to a norm, right? right? Yeah, which is yeah, which norm. is the majority, yeah. and so whatever the majority is in that particular place, if you don't fit that, exactly, then you're so, othered and marginalized. Yeah, and so I mean, I think in whatever you know that has had a lot of. Uh, A lot of to do with 
the shaping of my response mm -hmm. to injustice, mm -hmm. you know, because it's endemic in our culture. So, we know that if you, you, you kind of said that you, you tend to be more passive, but if it was your grandchild and you kind of had that response, um, and you said you have been known to be <laughs> to, to be reasonable, you know, um, and have a conversation. How would you see that conversation going? What would be, to what end would you be having that conversation? Well, I, I guess, you know, I would encourage I would encourage every child to be themselves, you know, and if they speak Spanish, then, if, you know, if it was important for them to learn English, then that would be part of the lesson, but um, I think that's the deal, is you're either going to hold to a norm that that is already established by culture or allow independence and I don't know uh, culturally who does that well but uh, the US does it I mean yeah we're becoming very very intolerant homogenized and somehow well, I mean, that's ironic you say that because in actuality, we're really not, you know, like we, right. we're actually more diversified than it's, we have ever yeah. been ethnically. And, and maybe that's what we're clinging to culturally as American culture, which, you know, for me has been synonymous with white culture, you know, American culture. When you think of the all American girl, you're not thinking of me as a five foot 10 black woman, you know, you, you, you're probably thinking of a blonde, you know, and tall and, you know, all these aspects. So as America begins to shift what she, what she looks like, you know, and what the I idea or ideal really of her shifts as we become more diversified, I think that, you know, we're struggling against, I think it's pushback against wanting to keep things the way they were on some level, some people, and then knowing that we're changing regardless of what we want. I don't know. It's true. I mean, I, I remember seeing uh, the picture of Obama, Barack Obama on Time magazine, and I think it was Time about, the article was about how that would make America so much more palatable to the majority of the people on the planet mm -hmm. because it was a man of color mm -hmm. and they could relate to him, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. And so he won the Peace Prize, he won the election, but nobody <laughs> planned on the pushback. You know, right. like you're talking about. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, oh shit, you know, now we like, did it. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a black president and uh, as far as us Republican businessmen go, we won't do anything to help him in any way. And so he was stymied initially, you know, and, and all the way through by a group of people who couldn't deal with the fact that we had a black president, you know. Yeah. Just not right. Yeah. 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 Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs>